Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hope everyone is doing well. Day six, six of quarantine. Alhamdulillah. May Allah make every trial easy for each and every one of us. Hopefully, it's just 14 days, right? Unless the government says something else. Ugh, scared. But hopefully not. And then uh, I'm on my way to BC, inshallah. That's gonna be a tough drive. But Allah will make it easy for us, inshallah. May Allah make everything easy for the people there and the people who are suffering more than us. May Allah alle alleviate their suffering. The people who are sick, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them cure. And the people who are distant away from their family, may Allah rejoin them with their families, inshallah ta'ala. Continuously make dua <clears throat> and be hopeful. You know, living in this world and facing trials and tribulations, that's like a given. If you're going to live in this world, you're going to be trialed with different aspects. Even if it may be as minimal as you not being able to find your keys in your pocket. That in itself is a trial. You go nuts for that moment, don't you? So living in this world, you're guaranteed you know, uh, certain trials. But those trials, those tribulations, those tests, those hardships should not completely throw you off as if there was no goodness in your life or as if there is no goodness in your life. This is the test of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah told us in the Quran, right? تَبَارَكَ الَّذِي بِيَدِهِ الْمُلْكُ وَهُوَ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةَ لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا so this bala, this concept of trialing is mentioned by Allah. But guys, understand, such trials should always be coupled with a beautiful patience. Now remember, once again, some people think being patient does not constitute any happiness. You can smile for God's sakes when you're being patient. You can have a laugh, right? Forget your you know, troubles for the moment. You can do that. That is that is not khilaf al-sabr. That does not go against the concept of, of patience. Right? Life should go on. And this is why, subhanAllah, I find a lot of wisdom in Islam, even, you know, to the certain, even regarding the certain stipulated periods. For example, mourning for the deceased person, you know, three days after they pass away and then move on. Life will go on. You will soon end up where they are, right? And some people may consider uh, this, you know, coronavirus to be a communal challenge, a communal trial. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even speaks of patient in that regard in the Quran. Allah says, يا أيها الذين آمنوا اصبروا وصابروا ورابطوا O you who believe, be patient yourselves at an individual level, at a personal level, for your personal you know, difficulties, for your personal trials, for your personal tribulations. وَصَابِرُوا Encourage others to be patient as well. And now since the beginning of humanity as we know it, there has been trials, patience following it, a fruitful end, sometimes even more trials after that. And this is what Ibn al-Jawzi rahimahullah speaks about in his book, Sayyid al-Khatir, in one of the chapters that, you know, he, he wrote down. He said, you know, take for example, the example of Adam alayhi salatu wassalam. On one hand, tasjud lahu al-malaika. The angels prostrate to him when, you know, um, once he's created, the angels prostrate to him out of reverence. And then, ثم بعد قليل يخرج من الجنة. So after a little while, you know, he's exiled uh, out of paradise along with his spouse. Now, by the way, there is a difference of opinion among scholars regarding, you know, this paradise. Was it the actual jannah that we'll all go to, or is it, uh, 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 you know, another sort of uh, uh, a paradise which allows entrance and leaving? Uh, the second opinion makes more sense to me and I believe this was the opinion of Abu Hanifa rahimahullah, Imam Abu Hanifa as well because Allah says with regards to the eternal paradise that 
you know, you will be khalidina fiha, you will be in it forever. So, anyways, he's exiled out, out of Jannah, so that's a trial. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives him, Allah pardons him, once again, a beautiful element, you know, uh, bliss after a trial. So he's basically trying to say, Ibn al-Jawzi is saying that this dunya, well basically, so basically he's trying to say this world is trials followed by bliss, followed by trials, followed by bliss, and hopefully further bliss. He doesn't say this part, by the way. Uh, some people live lives full of eternal bliss. Other people live lives full of you know eternal trials. And sometimes that trial is, is, is uh, not physical, rather it's in the mind. People live with anxiety, people live with depression. So this is all a trial. And others will live lives full of bliss, right? In their mental mind, they're happy. Outwardly, they're happy. By the way, he doesn't mention these details. It's coming from me. Uh, just mentioning realities. Uh, so basically, you just got to deal with this practical aspect of life. And then he mentions the example of Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam. He says, وَهَذَا Nuh alayhi salam يُضْرَبُ حَتَّى يُغْشَى عَلَيْهِ ثُمَّ بَعْدَ قَلِيلٍ يَنْجُو فِي السَّفِينَةِ وَيُهْلَكُ أَعْدَاؤُهُ And then he says, for example, take uh, Nuh, you know, into consideration in this regard. Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam would be beaten uh, until he would faint, you know, by the disbelievers around him. And uh, what, what, what happened later on? He, along with a few of his followers, were safe. And those individuals who once upon a time beat him, they actually drowned. So was this flood regional or was it global? So there is nowhere that's mentioned in the Qur'an or the authentic ahadith of the Prophet wasallam that this flood of Noah was re, uh, sorry global. Uh, it does make sense to say at a rational level that it was regional and you know the people in that area sort of suffered you have to understand as well that according to islam this was basically the beginning of humanity so it's very difficult to fathom that humanity would be surrounded around the world and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would send water uh, you know where it didn't even matter where it didn't even uh, belong. So Wallahu Adam, you know, once again, this is not one of those things which will uh, be a, a a question of your success in the year after. So just take it easy. And then he speaks about Ibrahim alayhi salam. He says, وَهَذَا Ibrahim, Or he says, وَهَذَا Khalil alayhi salam. The un unconditional friend of Allah, Khalil Ibrahim alayhi salam. He's thrown into the fire one moment and after a little while, يَخْرُجُ إِلَى السَّلَامَ He walks out and, you know, towards peace. So once again, trial, and after that trial, a sense of bliss. Now some people, they go on to extents and say, well, this fire was, uh, you know, it, it stayed around for, you know, 40 uh, days and whatnot. And then our Dabligi brothers from this hadith, they say, <laughs> From this saying, they say that you yeah, gotta go for 40 days. Well, tell them, chill out. This cannot be a proof for 40 days because this is not very authentic. Right? And then his trials uh, from being away from his family and then going on to build the Kaaba and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala making him a noteworthy prophet of Allah, Allah granting him children who are prophets. So once again, his difficulty of the fire was not perpetual. It did not remain till, his, till the end of his life. It did not consume him. It did not destroy him. Rather, there were better days. So that's once again a lesson that after trials, you will have better days. So rest assured. Now understand the essence of trials. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah Al-Sharh that inna ma'al usri yusra فَإِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَىٰ إِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَىٰ right? With every hardship, there is ease. 
So with every hardship, this could be interpreted in different ways. It could mean that after your hardship, you know, uh, diminishes, you will have a sense of ease. Or it could also mean that if you're patient amidst your hardship, if you acquire patience amidst your hardship, you can feel a sense of ease, even in that hardship, while you're enduring that hardship. Inshallah, we'll elaborate a little bit further in this regard tomorrow. Ibn al-Jawzi mentions the situation of a few more prophets, and then he mentions our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's trials, and then he concludes, until then, remain strong, be happy, spread the love, spread the kindness, uh, share the love on YouTube, share, subscribe, focus, and take the message in. Barakallahu feekum. Your dedication is always much appreciated. Inshallah, until tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Stay blessed. Over and out.